Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another hot new shit video. All hot new shit at Sephora because in all honesty I have not been to Ulta in a while or any kind of drugstore place. But Sephora, you know I've been at. You can probably tell I'm shooting in a different part of my room. I finally got like a big dresser cabinet because I'm running out of storage in this room. This is from Ikea and it took a hella long time to put together. Hella long. And you can see my picture frames don't even have pictures in them yet. I'm working on it. That was kind of a cute backdrop. Something different, something you guys haven't seen before. So I'm gonna kick this off with something I'm super, super excited about. I actually showed on my um, Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you've kind of seen a little preview of these. The brand spanking new Huda Beauty Lip Kits. So I got all the colors, not all the colors. Actually, I don't think I got three colors. I got Bombshell, Trophy Wife, Trendsetter, Gossip Girl, Icon, and video star so the one color that you'll see that is kind of the oddball out is going to be uh, video star it's definitely the one color that seems to be a little bit brighter and there was a couple dark colors that i just didn't get i just wasn't wanting to get any more dark colors i have so many these are the ones i got these are a lot of the neutrals as you can see i'll take one of them out i'm going to take out bombshell i wore this this is the lightest color that she has in the collection if you haven't heard anything huda beauty obviously is a uh, makeup artist out of dubai and if you've been following my channel for a while you know that i love her lashes like i'm obsessed with huda beauty lashes all day like yes 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 so her i was really excited her lip contour kit so the idea behind this is that it's a pencil that's really, 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 really soft. So it's like a really soft lip liner. Let's kind of think of it that way. And the idea is that you actually contour or you can contour your lips with this. So you can kind of build the color up on the edges, put it in the middle, kind of build it up on the cupid's bow, and then blend it in. And on here she says, or wherever I've seen her talk about these, is she kind of takes like a lip balm to kind of blend it all together and it, and it dries very matte and it stays a really long time. It's very long lasting. It looks so nice on your lips. Like I feel like my lips look so plump, so full. They just looked really, really pretty and natural, not overlined, not, you know, overdone. Just like a really natural matte finish that's not too matte and not glossy and not, it doesn't move. I just really liked them. So I got them in a bunch of colors. I definitely suggest them. I know they're sold out pretty much everywhere. I got lucky and got on the color train like right away because I've actually really been waiting for them. Trendsetter, I think is like the brown one that's supposed to be a lot like what uh, Kylie Jenner wears. And then Trophy Wife and Gossip Girl are very similar. Icon's a little darker. And then Video Star is very, very much just like the outlier hot pink of them all. So I'm pretty excited to wear this. I'm really excited about hot pinks for summer. The next thing I got, which is brand new, that I'm pretty excited about, but also kind of disappointed in what I've looked at so far. I haven't worn these yet. I've just swatched them really quick. They are the new Lancome Juicy Shakers. I got the colors Good Caramel, Karma Mel, instead of like Karma. I got the color Lemon Explosion and the color Freedom of Peach. Three colors. Let me take them out of the little box. You can see they're kind of supposed to look like little martinis. This is the darkest color I got, which like I said, it was good Carmella. So what you do is you shake them up and then you take this and you're supposed to like, just be able to like blot color onto your lips. Um, it's really kind of sticky, which is kind of keeping with the juicy tube theme of Lancome. So I'm not a huge fan of how sticky it is. That's my concern and it doesn't have a lot of color pay, pay off, but it is very much like a wash of color. That's really the idea behind it. Lemon Explosion, which is like a really pink. I think it's pretty, but I just wish it was a little bit more color pay off. We'll see, I haven't worn them yet. Like I said, these are very similar colors. So I'll let you guys know how they go. I'm, I've been really into like super soft makeup the last couple weeks for some reason, I don't know why. So. I'm hoping that I will end up kind of growing into these and liking them. So, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is something that I'm actually wearing right now. That is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, her new colors. So I'm currently wearing Dolce and I'm like obsessed with this color. She actually reformulated her colors, which I'm really excited about. I feel like I talked about this in another video, right? I feel like Anastasia was like the first in the market, but then people surpassed her in technology and you know formula and wearability and everything like that. And she kind of got left behind on a lot of the stuff. But these have been reformulated. So out of the nude kind of summer collection, I got um, Madison and uh, Catherine. 
also. And like I said, I'm wearing Dolce. So I got, I think the new collection was like eight colors and I got, you know, three of them because I just wanted to kind of get a variety. Um, some of them are too light. I can't wear like super light with the lipsticks, but you can see like this is like a really fuchsia and this is a very kind of like brownish mauvey pink. I swatched them the other day because this one kind of looks like in my opinion, I was like, oh gosh, this, look, this looks like a cross between like vintage and like craft kind of but it's definitely not it's definitely the, like much more fuchsia those other ones dry a lot darker so i was swatching colors because i'm like how close is this to milkshake how close is this one to which one is this one kind of close to veronica so i was kind of swatching them and seeing and as i was taking them off you know i i take my um when i do a bunch of swatches on my hands i take it off with olive oil because that's the only thing that can really like get all of that product off i think i swatched like six on my hand and I will say this, these three, after I wiped it down and soaked my hand off, I could actually still see the swatches a slightly for these three. So they seem to have like a better lasting formula. Um, I definitely think that they have a better formula for application. I have a tendency to like mine to be a little bit more thick, moussey almost, like a soft texture, and these feel a little bit softer. So I'm really excited about if she's reformulated, I'm really excited about seeing how that formulation kind of goes. I know she's reformulating some of the colors she did before, but she's not the others. I don't really know how that works. I follow her on Snapchat. If you follow Norvina, who is Anastasia's daughter, she really goes through like in depth all of her products as she's going through the process, like her foundations, her lipsticks, her liquid lipsticks, you know, everything that she does, she talks about a lot. So I actually love following her Snapchat because I feel like it gives you such an insight look into the brand. And also you really appreciate the hard work she puts into this brand because they put so much work into this. It is really a labor of love for them. So I'm really excited to support these new formulas and I, I'm excited to kind of see how they rank within my very, very tough ranking system right now for liquid lipsticks. On to eyes. I wanted to start to kind of have like color. I don't know if you can see that I have like blue on the bottom, but I'm starting to want to like have color come on a, um, in a paint pot. I'm not sure like how new these are. I think they're pretty new and I think that these are two new colors, but I got um, these two new colors from Tarte Clay Pots, the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. Um, these are limited edition colors apparently. I got the color Fairy Wing and Goldilocks. And then a couple weeks ago I had gotten the color Cobalt and the color Mint. I'm wearing Mint on my waterline right now and Cobalt, if you follow me on Instagram, is the color I wore as like a full wing of, you know, blue wing as opposed to like a black or brown wing. And I like these a lot. I like the formula. The only thing I can say about them is that I do have to build them. Like you can't just like one swipe and you're out the door because it's a color, you do have to kind of go over it a little while. So the process of making a wing, if you were like making a yellow wing, the process of making a yellow wing is gonna be a little bit more intense than say you were just making black. Or if you're making like a, in this case, a light purple wing. More than likely these two colors, which are the newest colors that they had launched, these two colors are actually the colors that will probably end up in the waterline. I'm really liking the idea of like, a pop of color in the waterline for spring. I think that that's been really pretty in kind of transitioning that into summer. So yeah, I'm excited about these. I did get it in one neutral color. I got it in a brown. Uh, right now, I'm finding that my favorite eyeliner, like neutral color eyeliner right now is actually Maybelline. And I can talk about that in another video if you guys want me to. But I've been really, really liking the Maybelline drugstore. See, see. I can get you drugstore sometimes. And another thing for the waterline, which I only bought one, and I think the new collection came out with like 28 shades or something crazy like that. But this is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eyeliner Pencil. So I got the color, what do they do this to you? M92. As you can see, it's like a very, very light pastel-y color. But so these are supposed to be like a waterproof liner for particularly your waterline. And I'm hoping that this will not move because I have a problem with like transfer to my upper lash line. Um, if I put black on my upper lash line and then like this transfers there and that transfers there and it just becomes like a huge mess. Ooh, that's super pretty. And uh, if you let it dry, it really sits for a while. I'll let you know how I like these guys. If I like them, obviously I'll try to grab a couple more. Eyeliner pencils are just such a funny thing to me because I just don't wear pencils. I wear shadows if I'm on my bottom lash line or I like wearing pots. 
um, are like a liquid of some sort. Pencils don't get used in my collection. So a very funny addition to the family. I've never bought anything from this brand and for some reason this was the one product that kind of stuck out to me within the collection. So I figured I'd try it and then kind of like see what else in the collection looked interesting. But this is the flash photo powder from es the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder. This is a kind of like a light blue powder that's supposed to help with flash photography. You guys know that I am like crazy about flash photography, like how much it can really change your makeup, what bounces off the light, what doesn't. But apparently this is a blue hued powder, uh, brightens skin so you'll always be ready for every selfie. Okie dokie. We'll see what I think about this. I am kind of interested how it works as far as like how it looks on the skin because it's blue. I think that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm also interested to see. It's, it's not like a, it doesn't say it's like really a setting powder. This is a flash photo powder. So I don't know if you can like set with this or what. Um, this line is, is new. Obviously by Estee Lauder, it's supposed to be kind of like the trendier line. I know Kendall Jenner is like the spokesperson for it, whatever. So I'm excited to see how this line ends up being and let you guys know if it makes me, you know, take better selfies, better skin selfies. The last two things I'm obviously the most excited about. I haven't even got to open this, guys, because I have been waiting because it's such pretty packaging. This is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Skin Fetish number three, Virgin Golden. First edition slash limited edition, and it is a highlighting kit, right? So if you don't know who Pat McGrath is, she's a very famous makeup artist. And when I say famous makeup artist, I mean like not on Instagram famous makeup artist or YouTube. I'm talking like runway, Vogue, you know, high level editorial print. Like she is the real freaking deal. You can definitely find her stuff if you look in like a September issue of Vogue when they do like the beauty part of it and they go in and ask who did like something about makeup at the Marc Jacobs show. It's usually it's somebody like Pat McGrath or it is Pat McGrath for a lot of times that's actually the one that did the makeup. So her coming out with her first collection is mega exciting. I've been a fan of her work for a really long time and I obviously love highlight and I was just like I cannot wait to see this highlight. This is definitely something... I've been looking forward to and I cannot believe I haven't opened it yet. I'm impatient. She's actually using Kim Kardashian as her model for this campaign. So I'm kind of interested to see how it looks, but I'm going to open it up for you guys. So it comes in this like pouch with a shit ton. And I mean like a shit ton that I'm not going to pour it out. Some people have been pouring it out, but like a shit ton of, of pretty much sparkles. Inside it comes with this stick and I'm going to break it down for you in a second. A brush and I'm going to have full sparkles all over myself. A little obviously information kit. Holy Moses. Oh, oh the last piece won't come out. Please don't spill everywhere. And a pigment. That's just raining. This packaging though, like Whoa, this is really expensive. I'm not gonna lie. This, this is like $75 or something for this pout, this kit, but it does come with three products in all honesty. The thing that I start off with is you have a balm, and on the other side of that, you have a cream highlight. So I think the point of this, and I've looked on here, is that you put the balm down on your hand, which gives you like a really kind of goopy, not goopy, it's a bomb. I mean, that's the best way to put it. And then you're supposed to put this over it. Um, whoa, hello. Do you see that? Do you see like all that shimmer? And then it comes with a brush. So it's like a very nice, um, it looks like a dual fiber actually. So a very kind of nice, simple, really nice design made in Japan apparently. Pat McGrath is a buffer brush. So then you're supposed to take this pigment, just very lightly run on here, just pick up a little bit, swirl, 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 and just put it over top of the product. And bam, you got a whole lot of highlight here. So that's really pretty. It's very golden. It comes in another color that I didn't end up getting. That's um, like more of a, a silvery pink color, very iridescent. I thought the golden was probably the best for me just because I have a tendency with my coloring, my hair to like a golden highlighter. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about this. 
probably not going to be worth the money in my opinion especially you know how i feel about my steel uh my sephora drops and stuff like that um it does set really nicely once you've like put it all on there i don't know if you can use them in different places in different situations i'm sure online she's probably got a lot of videos about it but yeah it's just such a pretty packaging i like had to get it I just really wanted to have this in my life. So the last thing I'm going to talk about, and I'm sure many of you have heard about this, is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Face Palette. In this face palette, comes this beautiful box with a picture of Jaclyn on the back. Yay! Go Jaclyn! So excited. Comes in beautiful, you know how I feel about packaging. Gorgeous packaging. I mean, look at this. The product itself is freaking gorgeous. So it comes with a little... Um, piece of plastic kind of explains what everything is and then it comes with three blushes and champagne pop and then her new highlighting color which is called Prosecco pop. Champagne pop obviously being one of the best highlighters on the market period. Becca does the best highlighters I think in formula perspective and then obviously champagne pop is one of the most beautiful colors. If it doesn't come up on camera champagne pop is definitely of like a very cool gold and Prosecco pop is a warm gold. Does that make sense? So if you're looking at them, you can tell that they're different. This one is Champagne Pop and it has a little bit more pink in it. And this one is Prosecco and it's much more yellow. I'm currently wearing Prosecco Pop and I think it is beautiful. It comes up so beautiful on camera, which I love when a highlighter comes up so nice on camera. And I'm actually wearing, which is the, one of the little blushes, the Rose Spritzer. And the shit's pigmented. Like I put it on and I was like, blend, blend. Because I you know how I am about like, I don't like... To see a lot of that transition so it comes with rose spritzer amaretto and pump pump mousse i have no idea how to say that word that's a fail rose spritzer is the lightest color and it goes to amaretto which is definitely more of like an amaretto color and then it goes to pump mousse which is like a very very pink 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 so um i think that jacqueline only did i think jacqueline did all these colors i'm not quite sure but so Jacqueline was very nice. She, When she was doing her party with Becca, she got on her Snapchat and told us that she was going to release some of them early because I know the release date was like May 20-something. Well, I got lucky enough and I jumped on Sephora. I was like so excited. I was going to a million trillion miles an hour and I was like, what? Ah, it's on! And I didn't want to... You had to like put in a code into the Sephora mobile site to get it. And uh, I was lucky enough to get it. And because I was so damn excited and I was going so fast... One thing I didn't realize is I ordered two. <laughs> so guess what guys? I'm not a person that always pays attention to detail because I was moving 100 miles an hour because I was so damn excited. You guys get to reap the rewards of my carelessness and I'm doing my first giveaway on my channel and that's gonna be the Champagne Glow Palette giveaway. And I am so excited to finally do a giveaway. I've been like thinking about what can I do for a first giveaway. I want to make it good. And I know that this is already sold out. And a lot of you are probably trying to get your hands on it. And you know some people are trying to put that in an eBay for like twice the price. Kind of break down the details of how I'm going to do my giveaway. I've been bouncing back and forth on how to do it. So what are you going to do to enter the giveaway? The Champagne Glow giveaway. Is you have to go to my Instagram which is linked down below. Follow me on Instagram. You have to click on this picture, like this picture of the Champagne Glow Palette and on the bottom write hashtag Champagne Glow Giveaway. Champagne Glow Giveaway. Make sure you like this video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you have to be a subscriber to win. Sorry, I will be taking everyone's profiles out of there and putting it in a random little Google random sorter thing that Katie uses for her giveaways. And I'm going to randomly pick someone from anywhere in the world. Anywhere, that's right. It's international, no matter where you are, I'll get it to you. It might take me a little while and I hope you don't get stuck in customs, but I will figure out how to get it to you. Anywhere in the world is good and I will send whoever is the winner this palette. Yay! Can I get like a round of applause or something, people? I mean, yeah. really, my first time. I'm so excited. So like I said, hashtag champagne glow giveaway. Hey guys, well, that's pretty much the end. And that was the big news for the end is I'm doing my first giveaway. I hope you're excited. Like I said, all my information is down below. I'll show you what you have to hashtag. I will pick a winner 
after a week this video is posted. I don't know when I'm posting this video, so seven days after this video gets posted, I will put pick a winner. I will put the date that the giveaway ends on here. If you win, I will direct message you, so be on the lookout. With that said, I appreciate you coming back. Hopefully you liked my new background, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. All right? Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video, and if you want to be in the giveaway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.